Welcome to Tasting Wine. I'm Toth. And I'm Haley, and today we are tasting wine. We are trying... Barefoot Pinot Noir. Barefoot. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Well, I mean, you cannot help but notice that they won the 2016 Denver Gold Medal. Wow. So I'm like, we have to try. We have to see what, you know... We have to see what their Pinot Noir is, yeah. you know, spitting out. Because, right. Color is... Okay. Color is light and yes. thin, like a Pinot Noir should be. So, so far, it looks like a Pinot Noir. Yes. We shall see. We hey, we're hating see. on it, okay? We I haven't know, tried it. I know. This won the this gold medal. This 2016 <laughs> Denver Gold Medal. It's perfect with lamb and grilled salmon and creamy pasta dishes. So basically fucking everything. <laughs> <laughs> this wine goes good with everything. With everything. <laughs> what have you had of Barefoot? All of them. Really? Well, I mean, growing up, yeah, living in Boston, we used to get a bottle of the, the Barefoot white wine and go to the Boston Commons and like hang underneath the trees and hang out and just drink and I like how you said avoid. growing up. You did growing not up. grow up in Boston. No, but you sorry, were... in college. Okay. <laughs> we would go down there and try like, and... growing up when we were seven, we'd go to the Boston <laughs> Commons. Up. Okay, what about 50? <laughs> like, oh my God. No, we would go down there and they'd have the horse on patrol, you know, mm -hmm. with like the guy and you have to like hide in the bushes and you just, you know, you're drinking wine in the park. I mean, what? Yeah, that's right. what they're doing 300 years ago. Yeah, that's yeah. it should be. So the smell actually isn't that bad. No, it's kind of nice. I think it's like nice, fresh, cold strawberry, mm -hmm. uh, some crushed rocks. Yeah, uh, I agree with that. Uh, cold strawberry, I mean, a little bit of cherry in there. Crushed rocks is a really good one. That's mm -hmm. like kind of a nice note that you don't really get all the time, but I do like that rock accent. You know, it's like that minerality type of thing. Mm -hmm. Yeah, there might be a little bit of um, like stream water. <laughs> stream water. Okay, now on the taste, Try okay. this. No. no, no, no. I want you to try it first. Because it doesn't really taste like anything. It's, so, it's not that it's watery. It's just that it's like super, super, super muted cherries. It's right. like cherry water. Right. Like hybrid water. Like when you, you like add fruit to your water. Mm -hmm. It's that. It is, it's so thin. It is taste. It's incredibly thin. It is kind of like watered down wine yeah um how well at first i was like hey the taste isn't too bad it's no it's of, not bad it's kind of like what's on the nose but then i do you think that they use what do they call it agent purple oh mega purple no because that's for color and this i mean i mean maybe who knows but they put that's usually in there because americans think that lighter wines are like not as good as darker wines mm, okay. you know but they do the, add that into a lot of california cabernets and west coast cabernets for like uh you know just like more texture and a darker color but it's called mm. mega purple mega purple i know agent yeah. purple What's and they're allowed to add purple? like a few percent, like up to two percent, and not have to tell you about it on the bottle. Okay. Well, don't you think that like there's like some note on there that like tastes kind of synthetic like synthetic? -y. Yeah. Yeah. Because it's basically just like a purple constant. It's a it's a great concentrate concentrate concentrate. It's a great concentrate, like just like you know, like it's said to add like color and grit and texture and stuff like that. And a lot of high end wineries do it. Like I've heard rumors that Camus uses it. And things like that. So, like some stuff you're paying eighty bucks a bottle for, and you know they're using it. So, I decided that I think that that synthetic -y is like more like um, kind of preservatives. Like it reminds me of like a mm. like a store bought jam. Yeah. Like very kind of like yeah. preservative -y, jammy yeah. kind of pectin. Pectin is the one. Oh. Yeah. Pectin is the one. Yeah. So this. I mean, it's not bad. I mean, it's $5. And for a $5 Pinot Noir, like this is way better. If you got five bucks and you want 13.5% alcohol, this is way better than most tall boys of beer that you can get for five bucks. That's true. You know what I mean? That's like true. you are limited because you can't open it without one of these. You know, it's not okay. like, uh, you know, you pop that open, you know? But they make keychain corkscrews. They do make keychain corkscrews or you can smack it on the ground inside of a shoe and there's Cork will shoot out of there. It's also true. Yeah. I mean, what else? What else is there to say? I mean, it's barefoot. It's five bucks. It's honestly it's not it's as not bad, bad as I thought it was gonna be. It's, it's not, not as bad as I thought. It's, it's not bad. really bad at all, though. It's like, I mean, we've had some wines that are kind of too jammy and inky and just undrinkable, almost. You know, this is. Uh, I mean, not saying I'm gonna buy it again, but I mean, you could fool someone in thinking this is a ten dollar or fifteen dollar, you know, the water. I know. I'm actually 
actually pretty surprised. Yeah. I really am. I don't think this is bad at all. I mean, definitely not an everyday drinker for me, but yeah. you know, yeah. if you're kind of drunk and you don't really care and you go to a liquor store, yeah, yeah. I mean, maybe they get it that good because they could blend different vintages too, because they're not saying like what vintage this is, which I've said on the show for a while. Like these cheaper wines, like why do they care about the vintage? Like it's like, if it's under six bucks a bottle or seven bucks a bottle, like you're just trying to make consistent. Well, wine, yeah, right? I mean, you're just trying to make a consistent taste. So I don't yeah. know. I think they think that, or at least maybe from a marketing standpoint, when you see something. a vintage on a wine. Yeah, I mean something. Yeah. Like Means more money. Comment time. <laughs> comment time. I think Blues Clues. I think we're gonna say comment time. No, I was just like a little duet sort of situation. My younger days when I watch Blues Clues in the park drinking mm, wine. Drinking wine. <laughs> Age six. All right. So this comment is from Thomas Lang, um, and this is on our uh, Verve Coco champagne video. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, he says, "Are you sure champagne is in your drink? May I suggest Mountain Dew instead?" Mountain Dew. <laughs> Well, that <laughs> bottle, to our our defense or whatever, that bottle that we tried of Verve Clicquot was bad. Yeah, it was like, bad. There bottle. was some like it had cork taint or like some fungus or disease. Like it didn't yeah. taste because we had another bottle in the future. And it tasted way different. Toasted, toasted, totally different. But anywho, but what fact, was his name? <laughs> Thomas Lang. Oh, that's funny. Fun fact okay. about Mountain Dew. Actually, it's about di diet Mountain Dew. They make a diet. Mountain they make a Diet Mountain Dew, and it's Diet so Mountain Dew has like a bit of orange juice in there, and it actually helps prevent formation of kidney stones. The orange juice, or? Yeah, like that component with the rest of that Diet oh, Mountain Dew that... helps prevent <laughs> kidney stones. I mean, soda used to be, what? you know, a thing that doctors would prescribe to you, so maybe we should get back to that, you know? You yeah. just need some Diet Mountain Dew. Well, and I know that that is, <laughs> so at point. least I think it's true because a doctor told me that. Okay. So, you know. Cool. Well, this show is not for medical advice. No, it's not. It's for drinking wine. Uh, but thank you for joining us here on Tasting Wine. Make sure you get out there taste some wine. What's your favorite barefoot product? Well, you know, maybe they got a good Cabernet. I think the Pinot Noir is probably the best out of all of them. Mm. You know, because some yeah. of the white wines are like really alcoholic. You can taste the alcohol. But anyways, let us know what you're trying. Let us know what we should try next. If you got any recommendations, we'll go and try and find the stuff. Uh, but other than that, I think we'll see you on the next one. All right, cheers. Cheers.